So we got that walnut log finished up. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? Five quarter, about 10 inches wide on the last four boards. Heading over here to the log pile that I was hoping to finish by now, but as you can see, I'm not even halfway through it. I think we're gonna start on these maples. Got some hard maple right here in the front, and these have been on the ground for a long time. And judging by the size of them, which isn't very big at all, we should have some spalting in there. So before we get in the tractor and move these over to the sawmill, let's go down here to the creek bank and check out some cedar trees. Down here below the sawmill in one of my back fields, I got some cedar trees back here. I've been looking to harvest for a while. We might get some decent saw logs out of some of them. That one right there is probably about eight or 10 inches diameter breast height. Got a lot of junk down here as well. There's a small cedar with four individual trees coming out of an old stump probably. Need to clean that up and get it out of here. A decent one right there. It's about 10 inches on the diameter. Definitely need to go. There is one hardwood tree back here. Got this yellow poplar. And it actually is in terrible shape. It's crooked and the base of it is down there right on the creek. Might get rid of that one also. So my plan is to clean up this bat field, redo all the fencing and get rid of these cedar trees down here at the creek line and maybe put some cows or goats or something in here. I'm not sure what we're gonna put in here as far as animals go, but we're gonna do something. That will probably get started maybe this Sunday if it don't rain. I think I'll come down here with a chainsaw and start cutting these down. But don't worry, I'll bring you guys with me. Now we're gonna jump in the tractor and take the logs over to the mill. I think we'll have some good spotting in these. Famous last words. All right, guys, we got a nasty one on the sawmill. This one looks pretty bad, even on my standards, because I don't mind these old logs, but this one right here looks pretty bad. It should be just over eight feet, and it is eight and a half. We'll take one measurement on the operator's side for the diameter. We're looking at about 13 inches. I did take my chainsaw, I made a little face cut right there just to make sure this log wasn't rotted all the way down through the middle. We're in good shape right there. Now this right here, friends, is sugar maple, also called hard maple, it's the same thing. I got this log and actually a truckload of them off of another sawmill back in the springtime. And since it was a small diameter log, I figured I would let them lay for a while to see if I could get some spalting going on. For you guys that are new to the channel, spalting means the tree or the log has started to rot. And if you catch that before it gets too bad, it mates for some really nice boards. But sometimes you get it too early, you don't have a lot of spalting, and sometimes you wait too long and it just crumbles as you saw it up. I've had it happen both ways. And this one right here, I'm not sure if we'll get a lot of spalting out of it because it's not been on the ground for a long time, but due to it being a small diameter, I wanted to work through these because they're hard to judge on when you're gonna lose them. On the sawmill, Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. If you're new to this channel and you want those blades, his cell phone number is down in the video description. On the lubrication tank, I'm actually running some windshield washer fluid with a little cotton gin oil, or cotton gin lubricant rather. That sounds better. Cotton gin lubricant. I get that from a farm store over in Arkansas. I've been trying it out for a while and it works pretty good. Not as good as diesel, but it's not as messy at the end of the day. But I do keep a spray bottle right here. So you guys out there that aren't running diesel, but you do like what diesel does as far as the blade goes and keeping it clean, I like to keep a squirt bottle right beside the sawmill and every few passes, I'll, I'll squirt the blade just a little with this diesel and the blade guide rollers as well to keep them clean. Now you guys use what you want to, but this is what I like to use here.
So not too bad here on the spalting. I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. I'm not sure how deep this will go once we start sawing down into the heart of the tree, but some decent spalting right there, not too bad. Some real nice color in this maple. Take you dancing Let me get you on your feet Arizona garden With my little cactus flower Let the day slip away In the golden hour We've got nothing But time and music And a sweet cold drink in the heat that tool right there is going to be really handy here at the sawmill. That's the log right dump trailer. It's made to be pulled behind of an ATV or a side by side or even a tractor if you have a hitch on the back. It's not road worthy or nothing like that, but it's a really good tool. I ordered that thing, I think, right before summertime. I picked it up at the Paul Bunyan Show. So if you went to the Paul Bunyan Show and you did see that dump trailer, that's the one that I did order from them. Brought it home last weekend. The capacity is 1,500 pounds. It does have that nice feature so you can dump stuff out of it. And you can also leave the sides off if you just want to do like a dump bed or a flat bed rather, and just tie some stuff down. So this is the last log of the day, friends. It's getting late. Gosh, it's seven o'clock. I'm not even had dinner yet. The diameter down here on the operator's side, 13 inches, a pretty small log. This is more of that maple. Hopefully we got some good spalting. That last log had a lot more spalting than I thought it would. Doing five quarter boards, got the same blade going. So uh, I think I'll shut up and we'll get sawing. I'm getting hungry. Let's finish this one up and uh, go grab some dinner. I think we're having chili tonight.
the city lot and the crazy nights I figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out, see what it's all about But the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kinda miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I go